Hi, welcome to Ebony Hill. I'm Finn. It's good to meet you. The purpose of today is for you to have a good look around at the equipment, appliances and utensils that you'll be using, and the work environment in general. I'm here to offer a bit of support and answer any questions you may have. Let's get started. You may have already heard of PPE, or Personal Protective Equipment. In the kitchen, we refer to them as whites. Wearing PPE while working in the kitchen helps to prevent injury by protecting you from burns, cuts, and more. It's essential that you put on PPE before entering the kitchen, so it's important that you understand what items you need to wear and why. I'm wearing the PPE you will need. Select the five most essential items of PPE for more information. Now, before we go in the kitchen, I just wanted to say that every time you go in the kitchen, you will need to wash your hands effectively before you do anything else. You should do this using antibacterial soaps and hot running water, and wash for at least 20 seconds. To dry your hands, use paper towels and dispose of those correctly using either a foot or elbow operated bin. And here we are in the kitchen, the place where you'll be spending most of your day. Take a minute to look around. Washing your hands will be the first thing you do when you come in here each day. It's important to know that there are two types of sinks, prep sinks and hand washing sinks. Stickers will be displayed above each sink to differentiate between the two. The purpose of this is to avoid cross-contamination. At the end of each day, everything is turned off. That includes water, gas, and electric. Some places have automated shut off. The control units are shown here. Let's have a look now at the food storage and safety. Select the items that are highlighted. 